Hey there, it is day three of SSS Veda and I'm getting out of work and I'm super tired today. So I'm gonna try to get my video done on my phone instead of my camera. Get it edited quickly so I can go to bed early. So I was trying to think of what I was gonna do for the topic for today. Um, and it's on the calendar, it says something interesting about your city. I live in San Antonio, Texas. I love working downtown. And so one of my favorite buildings is, and I'm gonna turn around. Hold on, I don't know if I can do it. Hold on, let me do it this way. There. That is one of my most favorite buildings in all of San Antonio. That is the Tower of Light building. What's cool about the Tower of Life is that the tower at the top is a neo-Gothic uh, architecture with gargoyles. That's probably the, my most favorite part. It has gargoyles. I love gargoyles. Uh, Texas humidity. I love Texas, but good grief. The humidity kind of just blows. But what San Antonio is really known for is the Alamo. <laughs> Uh, and before you leave a comment, no, I have not seen the basement. I don't know where I parked. Uh, and I'm not even at the mall. Really, I'm over here. So now you got the backlight, and so now there's a shadow on my face. Because I, I should just walk backwards. How about that? Oh, look, there's a Tower of the Americas. That's also really well known in San Antonio. It was like during the World's Fair. I'll look up the history and I'll just put some little like comments right here. I can't even point to the right place right now. That's the World Trade Center. No, Tower of the Americas. I just, I need to just go to bed, I think. The thing is, the Alamo was a loss. It was some Texicans and some Mex, wait. I can make up words, I have a master's degree. It was the Texas, the American immigrants into Texas against the Mexicans. And basically, and oh, I wrote this down this really like mean tyrant looking dude. His name is, and I'm gonna read it. I, I have it written right now. By the way, I still don't know where I parked. Usually I park way over there. Not today. This blows. Oh, by the way, I, I found my car. So let's go over this again. During the Battle of the Alamo, the Mexicans came over to fight not the Texicans, but the Texas, Texans, the American immigrants, and whoever else wanted to fight with them. And they were fought by the army that belonged to, and I'm gonna write, read this, because it's, and no, I don't have a good Spanish accent, and I don't speak much, so just don't make fun of me. Antonio de Padua, Maria Severino Lopez de Santa Ana y Perez de Lebron, AKA Santa Ana. I mean, really? Why would you want to name that long? One, I don't ever want to ever sign an official document with that name. And two, how did that fit on the birth certificate? It was a loss. Uh, but I mean, really, what'd you expect? It was like two to 300 people at the Alamo. And, it, and Santa Ana had like 6,000 men. 2,000 to 6,000, something or another. So really, what did you expect? They had no chance. But still, I got the pretty building of the Tower of the Americas behind me and then I got my favorite building. That's the Tower of Life. Yeah, I think so. And that's San Antonio. Thanks again for joining me, Lee, with SSS Veda, day three of 31. And if you want, subscribe. If not, okay, don't. Uh, thanks and have a great day. I'm gonna go have a glass of wine and sleep. And I mean it, y'all have been one of the greatest groups I have ever worked with, really. <laughs> Okay, are there any questions? Yes. Where's the basement? Excuse me? Aren't we gonna see the basement? <laughs> There's no basement at the Alamo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.